Well, people all across the region have been dealing with an influx of insects that many say look like flying ticks. Not a very pleasant thought. But as 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett explains tonight, these bugs aren't as dangerous as they look. There's one here. Creepy crawlers. Yeah, that one's crawling around. He said he had enough. Or just part of nature. And there's one here, too. Whatever you call them, you may have noticed these tick-like bugs on your clothes, your car, or in parking lots. It looks kind of like, yikes, what is that? Yeah, so Virginia got, Tech entomologist Eric Day, so who studies out. insects, says a lot of people are freaking out. It's kind of alarming when you see such large numbers out there. Day says, don't panic. Yes, These so, bugs are actually uh, yellow poplar right. weevils. The good news, they're harmless to humans and animals. They don't bite, they don't carry disease, they don't sting. Outdoorsman Jacob Hudgens has pulled more ticks off of him than he can count, so he knew these bugs were different. I've seen a lot of things that are a little scarier than that. I wouldn't freak out. For anyone who doesn't know the difference, there are a few things to look out for. American Dog, Lone Star, and Deer ticks are usually brown or reddish and have eight legs. Yellow poplar weevils are black, rounder, have six legs, and they can fly. Weevils feed on yellow poplar tulips, sassafras, and magnolia trees. A very minor pest on trees and shrubs. Weevil outbreaks like the one we're seeing now happen every five to ten years starting around June. Day says it's always a good idea to be on the lookout for ticks because they can carry diseases. But gross or not, oh, weevils are cute. These weevils will only be around for another two to three weeks. We may see them again next year, we may not. And these critters are nothing to worry about. In Blacksburg, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News working for you.